he'll open all the cupboards if he's in the house. I have to have child locks on everywhere. If I'm doing something, he'll want to come and watch. I don't think Teddy realises he's a raccoon at all. I think he kind of believes he's a dog. With great climbing abilities. He rolls over, he likes having his tummy scratched. He runs around playing with my pugs all the time. He plays ball, you throw the ball and he'll run and chase it. His body language is quite similar to the dog's. Teddy just surprises me. Ted was three days old when I collected him. Ted's mum, she wouldn't look after him. A friend of mine worked for a rescue centre. My friend asked if I would mind helping to raise Teddy. I said yes. Every two hours I was getting up, feeding him with a bottle, and Teddy just become really attached to me. He was raised by myself with dogs, cats. He's got no hunting skills, and also because he's so friendly, he wouldn't be able to fend for himself against predators. So Teddy stayed here. Raccoons are very similar to having a toddler. If I've suddenly walked away and he hasn't noticed that I'm leaving him, he actually alert calls, which is like a really high-pitched squeaking. We've set up spy cameras. Ted knows I can talk through these cameras. So what he'll do is he'll stand in front of the camera so it alerts me on my phone, and then I'll talk to him. He's just so clingy and needy, always wants attention, always wants encouragement. He may see me as his mum because I've kind of been all he's ever known. He's a very loving boy. He comes over and gives kisses and licks my face. He's just so excited to see my daughter and me when we get up in the morning. Teddy brings me so much joy. Literally just seeing his little face makes me so happy. He's really helped us with our mental health as well as everything else. Yes, he's not releasable, but he's just a great little raccoon. It's time to watch more.